Hello, what up, what's up? I'm Misha, and this is Misha C. Tarot. I hope you're doing wonderful. All praises due to the Most High. I truly appreciate every last one of you for joining me. New subscribers, returning subscribers, and y'all that's just stopping by. I'm not going to hold you. We're going to go ahead and get right into the message. But I did want to do something a little different. Well, I was guided to do something a little different. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the um, cards that I have and um, let all the messages come out first. And then I'm going to go ahead and clarify them. So let's get into it. God, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, angels and ancestors of the Most High. Shoot their white light. Please, God, and protect us as we go into the tarot. And allow me to channel clear and honest messages for whomever may come across this reading. What do they need to know and what do they need to hear? Somebody put you from like from the, the West Coast to the East Coast or the East Coast to the West. Yeah, somebody's doing some traveling. Clear and honest messages for the collective Holy Spirit. What important messages do you have? I keep, <laughs> I, this has nothing to do with this reading, but I keep fucking uh, humming that song by T. Uh, Loving you is dangerous, dangerous by T. That shit slap, but it's stuck in my head. I keep humming that. Never know when you'll change it up. Clearing on this message of the spirit. Mm-mm. Okay. We have here peace, love, and happiness. And after that, we have here demonic coming out. So somebody, peace, love, and happiness. If somebody's at peace, okay? They're content with their life, hard at work, staying focused on what needs to be focusing on. Staying in high vibrations. Staying clear of toxicity or people that are just not good for them. And you can definitely read people very well. You don't need no motherfucking tarot cards to do it, okay? You read energy very well. All right? You can walk in a room and read the room. All right? Now, somebody is very demonic, all right? And you picked up on this right away. Well-seasoned. You picked up on this right away. A Libra. You could be a Libra rising. Okay. But a Libra could be significant. And then we also have her confirmation. We also have her finally someone who understands me. So I'm definitely getting like you and someone else could be expressing how you feel about a situation, even though you two may feel differently. What, baby? As I was saying, I don't know what I was saying, huh? <laughs> but um, yeah, I was definitely getting here that you and someone else could be um, have difference of opinions or somebody can be agreeing to disagree. I'm also getting that somebody could be well seasoned in a um, area that someone is not and someone is taking your advice or they need advice or they're taking in the information that you're uh, giving up or that you're giving out, or this could be you, someone else here. And then I'm also getting here that somebody could, like, they feel where you're coming from on the situation. They understand you, they, they understand your viewpoint. Let's get into the tarot and see what's up. That's why peace, love, and happiness, and demonic, because that's like a complete 360. Peace, love, happiness, and demonic. Why is that here together, Holy Spirit? Mm. I'm also getting too that somebody's is like they're all like peace, love, happiness, joy, support, and all this other shit. Okay, this motherfucker is really demonic. They really, really evil. They really got a mean streak in them. Somebody's name could start with an E. I'm getting Iman. Yeah. Somebody's name could start with an E, okay? 
I'm getting like pay the price or cost the price or like pay something to do with payment or paying the price. Tell me more about this demonic peace, love, and happiness. You have here the Ten of Swords with the Three of Cups. Somebody's pretending to be somebody's friend here. All the while they're waiting for the attack with the tower card. Yes, the Nine of Pentacles. Oh. Wow. These are this type of person right here, you have to be very, very careful with here. Because they'll play the part for as long as it takes. Months, years, just to get you where they want you so that they can attack you. What is this, Holy Spirit? Clarify the Ten of Swords being the first card that come out. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Somebody could like want to come into someone else's life and cause a disruption, all right? They want things to fall apart. It's like somebody trying to build something, but somebody, while this person is building, this person is destructive. Like they're trying to destruct something. Or destroy something. Somebody's building and somebody's trying to destroy what someone is building. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords. Clearing those messages, Holy Spirit. Somebody could also be trying to distract you from what it is that needs your focus. We have here the Ten of Wands with the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Somebody wants you to see that some somebody wants you to see something their way. They want you to give up. I'm hearing beaten. So somebody could have taken a beating. We have here the Nine of Pentacles once again coming out. I honestly don't know what this is. All I know is with this Ten of Wands, this Ten of Swords here, the Tower card, the Eight of Cups, somebody wants you to walk away. They hate that you're at peace with what is was what has happened. They hate that you're not speaking up here. For some of you guys, you aren't telling your side of the story. And this person is mad because you don't want to go back and forth with them. You could have let somebody push a narrative and you don't give a fuck about what narrative they push. You just walked away from the situation, chose to focus on yourself, peace, happiness, growth, high vibrations. Somebody's trying to keep up with your frequency. This person could be watching you as well. They want you to be sad, okay? But you're not, okay? The Nine of Cups here with the Queen of Wands, the Sun card. Somebody has <laughs> done a lot of work, okay? They've worked overtime to make you pay for something. I keep getting that. Like somebody wants you to pay for something. Something could be a waste of time or a waste of money. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. Ten of Wands, the Death card. The Death card, what else with the Five of Wands? Yes, and the Seven of Wands. Somebody is upset that you're not fighting back or you're not giving this situation any energy. You're just walking away. I'm definitely getting like gaslighting, okay? Some type of manipulation tactic that you did not buy into. And this person is upset. It's almost like they set a trap. They set you up for the kill, okay? And they end up being the ones that's killed or that's trapped. Anything else? Well seasoned, Holy Spirit? It's like you know something that they didn't want you to know. Or they didn't want you to find out. Eli could be significant as well. I don't know if it's the, the book of Eli. There's an actual somebody named Eli. Yes, yeah, the well seasoned with uh, the three of swords here. And a page of swords. You peep something. 
You people how motherfuckers moving, how motherfuckers restricting you, and you're not going to force anything. A relationship, a friendship, no, none of that shit. Okay? The nine of cups, the five of cups, you're... Somebody's at peace with self, all right? Somebody is so upset that you're not flustered. You're not fretting. You're not bothered. Look at this person. They're, they're like... Like, they fucking lose it. Like, what the fuck? Do I have to do to get to get to this person? I'm definitely getting like somebody is under attack here. You could be going out, enjoying enjoying nature, enjoying your friends, your family, okay? Enjoying time with yourself, doing something that you enjoy doing. Somebody wants you to focus on the negative. They're mad that you're not focused on the negative or you're not feeding into something. Clarify the three of swords. We have here the Page of Pentacles with the Six of Swords. Yeah, you definitely learned your lesson from dealing with people like this and moved on. The Sagittarius could be significant. I'm definitely getting that as well. Scorpio. But you definitely ended something here. Something caused the ending. Tell me more about the Death Card, Elizabeth. Five of Wands. We have here the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah. You can see right through this person. Because if we're looking at it from this angle here, this person is all in their head about a situation. They can't seem to make clear of what's really going on. But you can see straight through somebody's shit here. Why is Libra here? We have here the Ace of Pentacles with the Emperor. The Justice card with the Emperor. Okay, Libra energy. So you definitely have control over the situation. This person does not like that, that, that they can't control you or control the outcome of something. Somebody wants a reaction from you. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Peace, love, happiness, well season. Finally, someone who understands me. We have here, did you get the message? Loud and clear. <laughs> Did you get the message loud and clear? We also have no access. Yeah, somebody could be pissed off that they don't have access to you. Or they can't. What what used to tick? What used to tick your ticker doesn't tick it anymore. All right. What used to piss you off, bother you, set you off, doesn't anymore. Somebody wants that reaction out of you. We have here nobody needs to know about this. Okay. And then we also have here healing words. So you could have definitely told this person, you need to go heal. Whatever it is that you're going through, focus on that and get through it here. You could have sent somebody some encouraging and healing words. And it pissed them the hell off. Because you weren't supposed to do that. You were supposed to go off. You were supposed to turn up. You were supposed to act a motherfucking fool, okay? But you didn't. I feel like I'm... I'm okay, tell me more, Holy Spirit. Anything else? Nothing at the bottom and nothing at the top. I'm going to leave it right there. We also have your cross paths. So this person is hoping that they come across you again. But this person has lost access to your energy or they want access to your energy. Like I said, somebody could be trying to keep up with your frequency, okay, but they can't. They're, that's just, it's just they can't. They're too low vibrational, demonic. That is all I have for you guys. Be sure to take only what resonates and leave the rest. I'm sending you the utmost love and respect, peace, healing, joy, prosperity, abundance, 444 on my clock, love, and hell of that shit. Peace. My baby.